come to today's morning devotion. Today I am sharing a few thoughts on reading scripture with the lens of supplication. I am reading from 1 John chapter 5 verse 14 and 15. This is the confidence we have in approaching God that if we ask him of anything according to his will he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have when we asked of him. Some time ago, a father watched his young boy playing with his ball. Something like this. The ball rolled under a particular heavy sofa. And if the boy had to get the ball from under that heavy sofa, he had to use all his strength, so he was trying to move the sofa. He used much exertion. Finally, after some time, the boy, he grew tired. He just fell back. He was very disappointed. So the father asked his son, did you use all your strength? Yes, the boy cried. I did that. I tried all my best. The father said, no, you are not using all your strength. I am here waiting and you have still not asked for my help. There is this peculiar understanding in the modern way of life that goes something like this. If you cannot do something for yourself, you are not that strong. If you need to ask for help, you are putting other people at inconvenience and you should be ashamed about yourself. And the father in this story understood one thing very clearly. What made the son weak was not the lack of physical strength or ability but it was the son's pride. His unwillingness to lean on the ones who loved him so that he might gain the prize. Beloved, in the same way when we read the scriptures with the lens of supplication, it is an acknowledgement that we need to change and become better men and better women. It is an acknowledgement that we need to lean totally and wholly on our loving Heavenly Father just to do that. On our own strength, we cannot do much. On our own strength, we cannot become the people we need to be. We need our Heavenly Father to do the heavy lifting. Even when it comes to transformation or change in our own lives. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. You find that in the book of Psalms, Psalm 73, verse 26. When we read scripture through the lens of supplication, we ask the Father to change us in very specific ways. We know that the son did the heavy lifting, bearing the weight and entirety of sin unto himself, so that we might receive the Holy Spirit who transforms us from inside out, so that we can have this confidence that when we ask for God's help, he will surely come and help us. We must not be sheepish in prayer. We must not ever think that we are putting God at some inconvenience by our prayer request. We must learn to totally and wholly lean on our loving Heavenly Father. We must learn to ask Him for His strength. Beloved, today as I close my talk, I want you to reflect on a couple of questions. 
when you pray and ask God for his help what type of things do you usually ask him for do you tend to make all your requests known to God or do you tend to filter some of those requests thirdly and lastly do you only pray for those things that you feel are worthy enough for God's attention as you think and ponder on these things today would you join me in a very short prayer i lift up my eyes where does my help come from my help comes from the lord the maker of heaven and earth god in everything in the struggles i must face today please help me in jesus name God bless you have a wonderful day and as you read your scriptures on a day to day basis may you read it with the lens of supplication